welcome back to the Ohio Anna Book Festival. And we are starting off with uh, books here from Marlene Kennedy and me and the Pumpkin Queen and the Dog Days of Charlotte Hayes. So tell me about the books that you're working on and uh, how you got started writing them. Well, um, this is the first book that I had published, Me and the Pumpkin Queen. And I grew up in Circleville, Ohio, oh, right. home, home of the Pumpkin, of the Festival. Pumpkin Festival. And so um, the setting for me in the Pumpkin Queen is Circleville's Pumpkin Festival. And it's about a girl who wants to grow a giant pumpkin for mm -hmm. the festival. Now, this is you in the back with a small pumpkin. Right. Just a little, little baby pumpkin. I grew my own giant pumpkin after, after I'd written a book. Mm -hmm. A lot of people would ask if I'd ever grown my own giant pumpkin. And I... I got tired of saying no, so I went ahead and I grew my own giant pumpkin. 250 pounds, not quite as big as, as the winners at oh. Circle Wheels Pumpkin Show, but okay. it made a pretty cool jack-o'-lantern. Uh, what did you uh, do with all the seeds and everything out of that? Are those coming into the garden I, for the later I, on? Well, we saved some seeds to plant other pumpkins, and um, when I go and make school visits and um, I talk about me and the Pumpkin Queen, I give each child at a school a, a giant pumpkin seed so really? they can try to grow their own pumpkins so I've I've saved the seeds and I distribute them when How I go to How many seeds did you get off that Well pumpkin? I only get about I get about 750 seeds out of a pumpkin and then um, I buy some pumpkin seeds in bulk from a, a grower in Indiana to help fill in with the other seeds that I need. Okay so what uh, you were inspired by the Circleville Pumpkin Festival mm -hmm. to grow the pumpkin uh, to grow the pumpkin and to write the book, more mm -hmm. importantly. And uh, what was the inspiration behind the uh, was it dog days? The dog of days of Charlotte, Charlotte Hayes. Hayes. Um, I had a Saint Bernard growing up, mm -hmm. and she was just the sweetest dog. And um, a few years ago, I was on a long car ride, and I looked out the window, and I happened to notice a Saint Bernard that was chained up and looking very sad. And I started to worry about that Saint Bernard. Um, even though I didn't know the particulars of the situation, um, could be that the owners were going to be coming back and lavishing attention on that poor St. Bernard that I saw. But I know that a lot of dogs end up uh, chained up 24-7. Um, they are left out in the cold. Sometimes they're left out in the heat. And so um, after worrying about that St. Bernard that I saw and noticed because I had my own St. Bernard growing up, I decided to write a book about a St. Bernard that is neglected. And there's a little girl who um, isn't really a dog person, but she uh, assumes the care of the St. Bernard and wants to find him a new home. Okay. So how long uh, did you spend on the, the, the books, say, from the writing, the idea to the writing? What was your process on that? Um, usually it takes me about a year uh, to um, finish a manuscript. I can usually get a first draft done in about six months, and then I'll spend another six months or so revising. Um, then it goes off to my editor, and then I revise some more. So, But it usually takes me about a year to, to get it in, in, in submission form. Okay. Now when you uh, have it go to the editor and it comes back, what kind of things did the editor say to you about revising and, and resubmitting? What was the idea behind that? Um, well, um, my editor, um, um, for example, in Me and the Pumpkin Queen, um, the original version ended with an, an epilogue that caught up with the main character when she was in high school. And one of the major changes that my editor had me made is she wanted me to keep the uh, main character young at the very end. So I had to go back and uh, rewrite the, the ending based on my editor's um, suggestions. Why, why do you th did they give that suggestion? What was well, the, the age range is for 8 to 12 okay. year olds, and so... Um, so the epilogue skewed too old. Yes, yes. Even though it was just a short part of the book, it was it was just at the very end, um, they thought that it would better suit the audience if, if I kept her young in the end. So that's an, a, a little bit of an interesting change that happened mm -hmm. due to um, ed editorial revision. Okay. But on this one with me and the pumpkin queen, you didn't have to me and the giant squash or anything for to sell to the Burpee Seeds Company or anything. You were okay with just the pumpkins? Mm -hmm. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but the, some other vegetable, uh, big vegetable influence on your writing. Uh, 
<clears throat> now, what's the book you're writing now? Are you working on something? Well, I'm else? I'm working on a story right now um, called Ripple, and it begins in 1928 and it ends in present time, and it's about five different kids during that those time different time periods that each receive um, the same um, secret message okay. and how they deal with it. Okay. Well, that sounds great. When is that going to be published? Well, not real sure yet. So, <laughs> so yeah, but still. How much uh, you're about? It. How far into it are you? Um, I'm I'm in the revision stage revision right stage. now. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What uh, kind of advice do you have for people that may have come to Ohio and are thinking of writing their own book? What really worked for you? Persistence. Okay. Persistence. It took me um, it took me a good 14 years. And this was my seventh, actual little seventh middle grade um, manuscript that I had written that okay. became published. So um, just keep on trying and um, don't give up. <laughs> All right. What happened to the other six now that you've got this one they published? Are, they are um, resting in a plastic storage container under my bed. So mm. I, may, I may dig some of them out and give them another go over. Okay. Uh, one day, but um, I, I consider them my practice novels. They, uh, I learned something new about writing with each one that I wrote. Right. So. Well, that sounds great. Well, Marlene Kennedy, thank you very much thank you. for being here, and we're at the Ohio Book Festival. This is Doug Dangler from Ohio State University's Writer's Talk saying keep writing. <laughs>